every Arsenal fan, hold that, hold that. There's a red. I'm so glad. How did we lose again? I'm asking that question, man. It's driving me mad right now, you know what I mean? Hello guys, welcome to the review of the battle between Arsenal and Liverpool in the FA Cup. The answer to this match was eagerly awaited by football fans worldwide. The atmosphere was dramatic, the excitement in the air was electric as the two giants of English football prepared for the match. The FA Cup, usually known as the Emirates Cup, were ready for the big fight against the Liverpool. Arsenal was hoping to turn the tide against their recent run of disappointing results, while Liverpool leading the Premier League was aiming to extend their dominance to the FA Cup. Both teams came prepared for a challenging face-off, their strategies meticulously crafted, their squads brimming with talent. Liverpool's key players, Trent Alexander-Arnold and Luis Diaz's, were ready to make their mark, while Arsenal was looking to break their goal drought and shake off the weight of three consecutive losses. The tension was high and the stage was set. As the whistle blew, the battle for supremacy began. The first half of the match saw Arsenal dominate from the whistle of the match, pressing high on the pitch and nearly scoring a goal in the opening minutes of the game through Nelson. Both teams fighting tooth and nail. Liverpool, led by the dynamic form of Alexander-Arnold, with his precise crosses and relentless drive, with his agility and knack for finding the net. Arsenal, however, had their fair share of opportunities, but struggled to convert. Despite their best efforts and some promising moves, they were unable to break through Liverpool's robust defence. Whether it was a lack of precision or simply the day was a bad luck, the Gunners found themselves staring at a frustrating goal drought. Liverpool, on the other hand, capitalised on their chances, significant inroads into the Arsenal defence. Their relentless pressure and tactical superiority were evident in the first half, and it was clear they were not going to let up easily. As the first half concluded, Arsenal had many chances, but could not convert into the net, whereas for Liverpool, they had managed to exert considerable pressure on Arsenal. The Gunners needed to rethink their strategy if they were to turn the tide in the second half. The second half of the match was a test of grit and determination for both teams. As the whistle blew, Liverpool came out of the gates with a clear game plan. Their strategy was to maintain the upper hand and secure a victory. Trent Alexander-Arnold and Diogo Jota, key players for Liverpool, executed this plan to perfection, making significant contributions to Liverpool's performance. Meanwhile, Arsenal was caught in a battle with their own shortcomings. They struggled to find their footing, with missed opportunities becoming a recurring theme. Their attempts to score were met with a formidable defence from Liverpool. Each attack was expertly intercepted, each shot deflected. The Liverpool wall remained unbroken, a strategy to their tactical prowess and disciplined defence. Even with the game clock ticking down, Arsenal's determination did not waver. They pushed forward, seeking a breakthrough, a chance to turn the tie. However, Liverpool's defence refused to yield, shutting down every potential scoring opportunity. The final whistle blew, confirming Liverpool's 2-0 victory and marking another challenging game for Arsenal. Despite their best efforts, Arsenal was unable to break through Liverpool's formidable defence. Trent Alexander-Arnold on the other, with the free kick convert the goal through deflection by Kivia. And later in the dying seconds, Luis Diaz kills the game with a score of 2-0. Liverpool had triumphed over Arsenal, scooping a 2-0 victory in the FA Cup. The match was motivations to Liverpool who are fighting for numerous trophies. Their victory has not only boosted their morale, but also fortified their position in the Premier League. On the other side of the pitch, Arsenal was left grappling with their missed opportunities and struggled to find the back of the net. The match marked their third consecutive loss, having scored only one goal in their last three games. A tough pill to swallow for the Gunners, who now face a 13-day break. This break, though, could be the much needed as they need to regroup and bounce back. Every match is a lesson, and this one was no different. This match, much like the season, showed Liverpool's ability to deliver under pressure demonstrating their strength and the depth of their squad. On the other hand, Arsenal, despite several missed chances, showed a spirit that cannot be overlooked. 
The beautiful game is as much about resilience and learning from losses as it is about celebrating victories. One thing is for certain, the world of football never ceases to amaze us with its unpredictability and excitement games. Thanks for watching the game review. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I hope you the very best year ahead.